Josh, three new results on Saturday, three new defeat today. What are your thoughts on the game today? Um, today, tough one, really. Uh, I thought, if we get to sum up the game, I think we were probably um, bullied, maybe there's a right word, maybe strong, but uh, I think they were, they were sort of older head, mature team, and kind of had us at arm's length throughout the game. And that was, but 1 0, it was tight, uh, we had chances, but um, once the second comes in, then that's inexcusable. The second one. Really poor consequence. I think the game's done. But all thought, yeah, I thought they showed their experience throughout today. We showed our lack of experience at times. And so we saw the result. Really you see it in the first half as well. You know, there wasn't that many chances for us there. There were a few half chances, but nothing really clear cut. That you could say, oh, we should have scored that. We should have done this. Should have done that. Yeah, I mean, we were playing as a win in the first half, and I don't think we dealt with it very well. I think we kept on doing the same thing. Try changing it a little bit, try getting the ball down and playing, but um, again, it's probably where our naivety shows where we need to think about it. And it happened a bit on Saturday. I know it was a 3 0 win against Woke for the first 20 minutes. Similar, it was a similar sort of thing where we've got, got to work out what's going to affect the opposition, and we did against Woke, and you saw within 10 minutes we'd go 3 0 three up. The day was a different story, we've got to keep it tight, didn't let the goal in. But, and again, to be fair, there's not much in the game at all. They had a couple of chances in the first half, but then it's still 1-0, it's still cagey, and we've got to, got to stay in it, got to be mature, you know, sort of do the right things at the right times, and the second half just killed us. It's really poor not to succeed, uh, um, concede, sorry. Um, and then obviously going down to 10 men, we need to, we need to just be solid. Um, in the end of 3-0, it looks bad, and it probably wasn't a 3-0 game, but they deserve to win this one. I can hear about it, like the way you speak, you know, yeah. you, you're heartbroken, you're disappointed by the fact we've come here, high confidence high and we lose 3-0 like that, it's, it's just not what we need at the moment. It's mentally draining, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> obviously you want to be winning every week, but sometimes you'd rather lose, because at least it's, it's some consistency, there's too many highs, too many lows, and that is the problem with us at the moment, we're, so we're quite naive, we're a young team, and there's, there's a lot of positives in that, we're bright, some energy, good ideas, good characters. But it comes a time when you come here on a horrible day, uh, two days, 20, uh, 48 hours after a game, you just got to dig in and get something out of the game. But um, so we just can shoot ourselves in the foot too much. And we need to just build some consistency now. We've got some really good results. We can think back to when we beat uh, this county. Um, obviously, the game on Saturday is a massive win against your local rivals. And, we're coming away from it buzzing, but you've got to back it up in this league. You've got to be try and be as consistent as you can in one of the most inconsistent leagues. Uh, and that's where you get to find yourself high at the table. I think we've, we've got quality in the team. We've got, it's, it's nothing to do with personnel, tactics or anything. Today was literally just mentality. And I think we lacked in it a bit today. And as individually, we've all got to look at ourselves. And then as a group, collectively, we've got to move on. Oh, no, we've got working again on... Uh, at the weekend, and if we, if we do go out, and it wouldn't surprise me if we do go out again and come out of the traps fly and get a good result, then we've got to back it, we've got to back it up. We can't just keep uh, having these up down performances because uh, it, it, it'll be a time where it catches up. And it's the thing, isn't it? It's consistency. You know, it seems to be every week we get a really good result, then we get a disappointed one, then a good result, then you know, there's no consistency there whatsoever. What do we do now to make sure that happens? It's about learning at the end of the day. Um, it's a successful team I've been in is that they find a they find a way and they stick to it. I think sometimes we and it, and it's not because people aren't doing it um, on purpose. I think it's just with, with maturity. You don't go out there uh, the players don't go out there and think I'm going to do something different this week because I want to try something different. It's just maturity and then having that consistency. And you don't have to be a world beater every week. If you're seven out of ten performances for most of the group and we'll get results. We've got the talent in the team to do it. We've got um, we've got the players, we've got the competition in the squad now. Um, but it's just having that sort of that consistency uh, week in, week out where you just know your job, you do it and and we'll, and we'll pick up results. In the league this year, you've seen it, it's a tight, a tight league. You get three or four wins, you're back in the playoffs, but it's so frustrating honestly it's so frustrating at the moment. Uh, it's like I said got to look at ourselves first and foremost and then come together as a group and um, 
hopefully can build on it. But it's a good time. The good thing about this time of year, or this season, where it's condensed, is that easy. You've got a chance to put it right a few days after the end. There you go. The next game, Woking can't, can't get much bigger than that in this league. Nice. And that, and that everyone knows the cliche is every game's big, but obviously Woking has got an extra bite to it. That we showed on Saturday that, that again we got our three goals and rightly so we picked up and then we were professional and that we've shown one side that we can do it we can be really mature and then we come here today and we give them quite an immature performance Let, let's get back on the horse go again and uh, we've got we've got a build it's, about, it's just about learning we've got, we've got players good lads good group there's no kind of bad eggs I said not doing it on purpose we've got, we've got to go home each and every one of us now I think what, am I, what did I do last week that got me a result that Saturday and didn't I do this week? What am I doing on the pitch? How can I manage the game? St stuff like that. Look, Gaffer fires that message into us all the time anyway. So, as much as we've got to do it for him, the club, for each other you're playing for your livelihoods. When it comes to you guys as well, you know, as vice captain and captain today yeah. as well, you know, you want to set an example to these players who are still learning their trade. Yeah, definitely. Look, so even for me, um, I said I wanted to see you guys in a group of 27. I think usually you've got a lot more senior guys, but we've got a young group. But there's no excuse, got to lead them out there, got to try and talk them through it. And it's, and it's, a, learning, it's a learning curve for me as well. Um, but I can see, I can see, you can see the potential. Um, but we, we, we do shoot ourselves in the foot and we've got to get over that hurdle. And I think once we do, we'll be fine. But, for now, it's, it's, at the moment, it's been a frustrating season. And it, look, we're only a third of the way in. We've got to build on it now. You said it's Christmas time, and you think, oh, you've got the usually Christmas time, you're halfway through, but you're not. You're only a third of the way through. We've got a long way to go. Let's let's try and build build something now, because it's, it's, it's otherwise every week it's just going to be frustrating every week. Are you in with a shot? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.